All right, so um, welcome back. We're going to talk about um, balancing the propolis. Um, you might have noticed that this doesn't look the same as a few minutes ago. Um, the reason is because I balanced the balancer. So, um, although this is pretty, you know, well made, like it, it's okay for what three dollars that I paid. Um, you need to balance the balancer. So you need to balance these little um, metal pieces. In order to do that, you just um, balance them in the same balancer, but individually. So uh, make sure they rotate freely, um, and they don't um, they don't go to one side. They just stay. Um, this one is pretty good, actually. Um, and all I did is just use these um, nail files just to um, get a little bit of material. Um, same um, with the other one. So you know this is balanced, so you can balance your propeller. This is unbalanced. Every time you test a new propeller, it's going to be a different situation. Um, because if this one is unbalanced and this one is unbalanced, it could be a point where they together will balance, but it's not going to be the same case. Anyway, so uh, balance your balancer. First step, I'm not going to go through it. Looks pretty straightforward. What I'm going to focus now is on balancing the actual propeller. So make sure um, you already um, chosen um, which of these fittings will go to um, your motors. Um, I have already chosen mine, so for instance, I've got another propeller here, so you got to put that little ring inside the propeller. Um, so let's go, let's start. Um, so let's adjust this quickly. You don't have to tie it too hot. Um, so here we go. So you can see that the propeller is going towards this side. Yep, if you flip it over, this side should go down as well. There you go. So, um, you need to focus on two things when you're balancing propellers. The blades, so the actual blade, and the, uh, the center part. Because um, I strongly suggest, first thing you do without even putting on the balancer, just get rid of this little thing in here. Just get rid of it, just with a file or with a knife, if you can. Just cut that piece, because on this side there's nothing. So why should you have that piece of plastic in there? Um, so what we're going to do is balance the blades first, and then we balance this knob here, the center of it. It's not as important as the actual blades, because they generate more um, um, vibrations rather than the knob being unbalanced, but we have to do both. Um, all right, so all right, so this one is the heaviest one. We flip it over. So let's get rid of these numbers first. So it's 10:45. So it's a little bit more material there. So we see the 10:45 there. So let's get rid of that. That's a little bit of material that we can get rid of pretty quick. So I might just put these fast forward on the video because um, I'm pretty sure I have to take quite a bit of material to make sure um, this is balanced. Still too heavy. So I'm going to put it fast forward. I'm going to start working on it. Alright, look at this. So, 
kind of looks balanced. It's going towards that way, but um, uh, yeah, it's right in the middle now. Um, but look what happens when I do this. So it's on this side, so it kind of goes to the middle again if I leave it either side, right? What's going to happen when I flip it over like this? All right. So what's going to happen is that it's going to stay in either side. What this means is that this part of the center, because these ones are balanced now, what's happening now is that this part is heavier than this one. And the reason is because if the heaviest part is here and I lean towards this side, most of the weight is going to go towards this side, so the propeller might just stay there. Same as here. Alright, however, if I just flip it over, so the heaviest side go to the bottom, what's going to happen is that because it's going to the bottom, it's going to try to keep the propeller in the middle. Because the heaviest part, it's over here. Not sure if I'm too clear or um, not clear enough, but I'm trying to get a really important point about um, propeller balancing. Um, and in this occasion, um, I'm just going to go and try to balance this uh, middle part. The other, the other uh, technique that I got is just put this in your hand, position this right in the middle, so we're not involving the weight of the two. Uh, blades that we believe they're balanced so it's gonna go either way see it's going towards this way if I flip it over it's gonna go the other way which means that this side is too heavy so I'm gonna see what can I do with these because this is a little bit more complicated actually need to cut because it's a lot of material because it's too close to the midpoint you have to take more material is less talk. All right. So, let's see what I can do. I'll be back. All right, so um, after spending <laughs> quite a long time, it's even dark now, um, taking some material out of the central part of it, I achieved a really good result. Um, however, um, the mid part still a little bit unbalanced. If I put it like that, it's not too much. It still goes towards this side, but it's really little. Um, the reason I stop there is because I can't take too much material out of here um, as it's going to make um, these these not really, really weak and the propeller is just going to fall apart. Um, the most important part of it is just to balance the blades and then go to the center part. Um, although this one probably the one I made video with it's kind, kind of a bat-made propeller, 
manufacture didn't put much effort into it but um, at least we got some material out and um, that's that's what we can do to to eliminate vibrations um, make sure that after you do um, the files make sure you go with a really soft one so this part stays really soft remember this is going to be rotating really quick on your craft so um, make sure you soften that surface um, make sure uh, that doesn't feel rough because that's going to also generate noise and vibrations on your quadcopter so yeah um, I think that's it for now and yeah get back to my other videos if you have any doubts or something like that I'm happy to help and thumbs up sweet